All right, everybody, so I figured I'd make a video on how to wire up a starter on a 7.3 IDI diesel engine. All right, so what we got here is a dual battery setup, obviously, and the solenoid is right here. Now, the first thing you have to realize on these IDIs is that there is a solenoid on the starter, as well as a solenoid on the fender or at this radiator support. I don't know. Anyways, so what you're going to want to do when you're wiring it up is take a lead from your left battery and run it across to the positive pole on the other battery. That way, connects that battery to this battery. All right. Then, this, this lead going to the solenoid is actually carrying both batteries' amperage down to the solenoid. Then, there's another lead... That comes off the solenoid, as you can see here. And this one is not going to the other battery. It is actually going all the way down past that uh, alternator and power steering pump. All the way down there, or I don't know what that pump is. All the way down to the starter, which is below, obviously. The starter, in other words, is getting constant power. Now there's a second pole on the solenoid. The second big pole, I don't know if you can see it, but there is one pole here, and then there's another pole here, all right? Two big poles. Don't worry about the small poles. They have no bearing on the starter. This big pole is a power feed to the small wire on the starter, all right? And that big pole is giving the power from the battery constantly to the starter. But when you cross these two leads, it gives power from the battery and it feeds it across to here. So you can see, when I cross wrench across these two terminals, let me get a good angle for you. Jeez, camera's not wanting to focus. It will cr crank the engine. Now it's cranking slow because I have 62% battery. I don't know if you can see that. 62% of the battery because I've been trying to start it all day. Now, with that being said, there is your fuel shutoff solenoid. I'm sure you all are familiar with it. It's on top of the injection pump. And I've just hardwired in a red wire coming all the way back and down to the constant power coming from the battery. I could have wired it directly to the battery and it would have been the same thing. So, basically, that solenoid is always on. If I want to shut the truck off, I'm going to have to pull that wire from inside the cab. Now, there's a second pole on the solenoid. The second big pole, I don't know if you can see it, but there is one pole here, and then there's another pole here. All right? Two big poles. Don't worry about the small poles. They have no bearing on the starter. This big pole is a power feed to the small wire on the starter, all right? And that big pole is giving the power from the battery constantly to the starter. But when you cross these two leads, it gives power from the battery and it feeds it across to here. So you can see, when I cross wrench across these two terminals, Let me get a good angle for you. Jeez, camera's not wanting to focus. <laughs> it will cr crank the engine. Now it's cranking slow because I have 62% battery. I don't know if you can see that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video got longer than I intended, but uh, hopefully I can get this old girl running. I doubt it, but. Thanks for watching.